We've come to fix your telephone. Where is it? Why don't you unplug it and take it away? It's always out of order. It's over there. Thanks. Well, I, for one, don't think anything we can do is going to alter the situation. No, we can't go on doing exactly as they say. Where will it end? They can demand anything, and we'll have to give it. I refuse to waste my meager profits giving protection money to Hoodlum. Don't be so hasty, because when you don't pay, they destroy everything you've worked for. Years of sweat and sacrifice. All for what, I'd like to know. For nothing. I refuse to be threatened by these hoods. That was my reaction. I told him the answer was no. I don't scare easily. We can do it. It's a matter of sticking together. If we form a kind of shop owner syndicate, we can break this racket, I'm sure. There's strength in numbers. Yeah, they're a ruthless bunch. My brother-in-law has a fur shop in the center, and he pays up. Thanks. He never has any trouble from it. Uh, no trouble. It just gives away every dime he makes. How many were supposed to meet here this morning? Ten? The only two stupid enough to come here are us. What can we do? Yeah, they're stupid ones. Cowards. Too scared to do anything but pay good money for nothing. Position to dictate terms, unfortunately. If 
and got all the aces. As if we didn't have enough problems as it is. Yeah, the costs are rising like a storm. To weather this storm, we've got to have water wings. It's not out of order not again. Not that so. It's going to be more than a sense of humor. Well, that's what happens to a country that's politically unsafe. Now, excuse me a moment. Can I help you, Mrs. Goldoni? A loaf of sliced bread, Pat. This do? Mm-hmm. Shall I put it on your account? Please. What we have to do is go around to each one and convince them. I'll go see Franco tonight and call Stefano. How about you paying a visit to Amadeo? Uh, he's more scared than I am. The best thing to do is to meet again tomorrow morning. Yes, good we idea. We can compare tomorrow notes. Morning. We finished the job. Clean up this town. No, no, I'm convinced that this is right. Won't the police do anything for us? I told you his condition, Inspector. That he... he mustn't be disturbed, but this is important. I need a few answers. Ah, Marchetti, come here. I'm sorry to insist. Do you know who's responsible for destroying your bar? I understand you had several threats recently. Now then, who was it who threatened you? Did anyone come in? No.
Here's what you asked for. Nod your head if you recognize anyone. Study them carefully. Do you know this man? And this one? This one. How about him? This one? His name's Vali. He's the one. It's him, isn't it? Yes, it is. You know and I know. He's the one who refuses protection unless he's been paid. Inspector, I must ask you to stop interrogating my patient. Thanks. After you, Inspector. The usual thing. Nobody talks. We can't make them. But he couldn't help reacting to that photograph of Vali. It's not much, but it's something. Yeah. Papa tell you anything? He said he won't give them one cent. That's what he said. Ah, and he added two that he hopes they come around so he can throw them out. I hope not. We've done what we came for. Excuse me? We've mended the phone, we're going home. Oh, good. It took long enough. You mean I can actually use the phone? No, don't worry. We'll test it by calling you later. Got everything? Yes. Bye. Good evening. Good evening. They're very odd. Give me a token. Here. Mind if I use the phone? Go ahead, help yourself. Thank you. That'll teach a few other smart Alex to do as they're told. Do you think it'll do any good? <laughs> yeah, I should think so. The proprietor of that bar had a long session with the cops this afternoon. Lots of chat. Uh, do you think I was mentioned? I think if you were, they were famous last words. <laughs> Thank you.
Here we are. You all right? Take this. It'll help you to relax. Together, there was 12 of us kids. There was never enough for all of us to eat. And that's when I made up my mind to become a flatfoot if I could. What else is there? Right under our noses, they murdered him. They're making a complete fool of the police. There's no point in punishing the guard. It's our own fault. Have you seen the laboratory uh, finding on what provoked that explosion? This sort of terrorist work puts the lives of all of us in jeopardy. The public is losing faith in us. The man in the street talks openly of taking the law into his own hands. No sooner do we get hold of one of these criminals than they either escape or get out on some point of law. These people have a skilled organization and technicians of top quality. They know the law as well as we do. Hmm. As well or better. They also have a supply of weapons far ahead of our own from foreign governments anxious to shake the foundations of our way of life. Our policemen aren't trained to cope with guerrilla warfare. I know what you're doing, Griffith. You're trying to get the go-ahead on your brainchild. You want to form a stunt squad trained for anything, don't you? Yes, it'll be the first time in history. Simple cops can't beat them. We need commandos. Griffith, you dramatize things, but you're right. All right, you can go ahead. It'll be useful in the future. It might have done you a lot more good if you found something to go on. I did, sir. Those detonations were Volley's work. The proprietor who died was betrayed, that's clear. One of my men saw Volley near the bar just before it blew up. Well, that's not much to go on. He's always managed to slip through the net for lack of evidence. You'll find it very tricky getting him to put his neck in a noose. Don't tell anyone your plan, even at the top. How are you going to catch him? The top could mean you. All right, do what you like, but keep within the law. After all, it is what we represent. If your stunt squad starts rampaging around in plain clothes, armed to the teeth, a lot of innocent people could get hurt. Well, better my men than an army of criminals. No one's going to care if their protectors wear neat blue uniforms or bulletproof DVDs, as long as they do their job, and soon, before the public starts protecting itself. And that means civil war. I understand, Griffey, but they might get carried away. After all, they're young men, too. If a comrade is killed, emotions come into play. The police are human beings, too. You should know that. And we don't want a secret police system that undermines our democracy. That's precisely why they need the strict discipline of my training program. Then we must get started by carefully selecting the men psychologically suited to it. It's time to separate the men from the boys. <coughs> The archive. I don't know if anyone's on duty. Have a look. Uh, you know where the inspector is? In there. But he's mad as hell. I've told you a hundred times, I don't give a damn about directions from the top. Come in. Hello, bro. Do you take a seat? You must obey my orders. It's high time you learned that. Now, that will be all. Take this to the ministry.
You can go. Thank you, sir. Come here. Copy that. Well, it's a pleasure to see you here. I must say it's a pleasure to see you, Inspector. I thought I'd pay you a visit just to let you know. I found a job in... Yes? No, no, I don't think so. Yes, you handle it. A transfer? Yes. I reckon it was about time they put me somewhere quiet. Hmm. I seem to always find myself on the front line, so I applied for a desk job. I earned a bit of rest. Ah, I guess so. Yeah, Milan was really rough. I almost didn't make it. I even thought of getting out. Yeah, those babies get the smell of cop in their nostrils. It's lights out and no reveille. <laughs> getting soft, Rogi? What you need is some healthy exercise. I'm not exactly overweight. So I happen to be getting a bit soft. I'm only here to punch cards. Not only. Broji, I want you to help me. I had you sent here, but not for arrest. I picked you to find Bali. No, you can count me out of it. Don't be too sure. I told you to up in Didn't here. Didn't expect to see him here. Get a haircut. You look like my aunt Zinni. Yeah, Hello, fella. Hey, Good how to you see doing? You. Ciao. Hello there. Hey. Ciao, Marquis. Yeah. You're looking well. Hello, everyone. Yeah, he's been driving that car the way. Sit down. We might be. We got a ride. What do you say? Yeah. Nothing under the nut. I mean, that's true. Put the light out. Trains derailed. Phones exploded. Factories blown up. Supermarkets. Innocent victims, exactly like a war. In other words, a state of emergency exists in our cities today. Robbery with violence is on the increase. Since the beginning of the year, it shot up over 30%. Cases of kidnapping have doubled. Murder is commonplace. 40 members of the police force killed since Christmas, either in gun battles with cornered criminals, picked off by snipers in the street, or blown to bits in cars. They tell us we need more men. I don't agree. In France, there is one policeman to every 1,300 people. In England, one to every 1,500. Here, the ratio is one to every 230, most of them bound and gagged with red tape and office blocks. The quantity of arms captured in raids we've carried out in various parts of the city is alarmingly high. During the first three months of this year, we confiscated 25 submachine guns, more than 1,000 rifles, 1,200 mortars, 5,000 automatic pistols, 6,000 hand grenades, not mentioning the tons of drugs the police haul daily into the open. Perhaps the most lethal weapons of all. In the last two searches, the haul amounted to 1,100 sticks of dynamite, 400 rounds of ammunition, 50 guns, 120 grenades, a veritable arsenal. The arms taken into custody last year alone would fully equip four modern military regiments. More often than not, our arms compare unfavorably with theirs. But there's one thing we must have more of than they do. It's an old-fashioned thing. It's called integrity. In a world where inflation sends not only budgets and blood pressure up, but also the crime rate, we must arm ourselves not only with the latest weapons, but with an unflinching moral code. Make sure you do. And hang on to it. Corruption can make fear dominate you. And you must be a good example to the others. That's the reason I've chosen you. My stunt squad depends on you.
Uh, how was that? Uh, uh, you threw me too short. Oh. I'll do it over. Much higher. You need more leverage. Don't worry. Got that? Uh, I know what to do. Okay. Grab here, lift, then uh -huh. flip. Ready? I got it. See? Yeah, not bad. Come on, let's try it again. Want a beer, Chief? Uh. Oh, thanks. Don't be scared of hurting me. I'm not made of glass. Okay, if you say so. Oh. I'm glass. I'm glass. <laughs> not you. You're shatterproof. Maybe, but I think you just cracked my stamp. Wine glass, huh? That's you were a tumbler. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> better. Better stay off liquid from now on. I'll use you for a sprinkler. Okay. Ready for a shot? <laughs> wow, what about that? Broji couldn't do that, I bet. Why don't you challenge him, Chief? <laughs> Hey, Brogy! Huh? I... Uh, that wasn't fair. I was distracted. Distraction can mean destruction. Ah, uh, who do you think you are, Confucius? <laughs> car mats. Bargain value. Buy yours while they last. Want to buy your car mat? Hi, Tony. What's the news? No one will talk. They're all afraid. Our contacts pretend they don't know nothing. Two men of valleys, Platini and Corsi, have been seen together in a restaurant on the periphery in Vian Lamfranchi. But I'm afraid it's nothing definite. Certainly not much. I'm certain that Platini and Corsi are the two men masquerading as telephone workers. But how can we prove it? It's the only people who know are dead. Perhaps it's a blind alley. Our job is to find out. And Bali? Bali? No news yet, sir. It's very important to find him. You mustn't be discouraged. Keep on, won't you? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Ciao. Comets. Keep rubber comets. Hey, hey, you forgot your chain. Yeah, I bend. Fine, but hang up now. Brother says you need a trip to the country. Hmm. Your brother is no fool. He's a bright boy. Mark my words, sooner or later he'll get to the top. Hmm. I think so too. Yeah, living off women, it's a great career. Well, at least it's not dangerous. Once he posted two of his girls outside a government official's window, and the police came and moved him down the block. <laughs> hmm. Why did they call him the Tunisino? Well, he was born in Tunis for one thing, and the horse think it's a glamorous name. He wanted me to work with him. But it's not my scene. There isn't much glamour in that scene. What do you care? There's money in it. Bureaucracy will bury us all one by one. But you hope bureaucracy is the only thing for a while. <laughs> ah, they're not doing bad, Platini and Corsi. Nice place they got. I'll see if I can find the manager. I'll go in. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, sir. Ciao, Ben.
Sorry about Platania. It's not much of a loss. He was getting to be a dead weight lately. You're better off without him. We have enough on our hands as it is. For a time, it's better we lay off the explosives. Uh, you always make sure you're all right, don't you? You hiding out where you were before? I lost my senses. How will I find you if I need you? I'll find you. Anna, do you know Signora Marchetti? No. I'm so sorry. It's something we all live in constant dread of. Sorry. Thank you. Can I help you in any way? Is there something I can do? No. Thank you. Remember, my dear, we mustn't let you board you on the police. Yes, pretty today. Conan? Yeah, sure. Ah, better get rid of it quick. Get everyone going. I don't want any risks taken. I called them already. They'll be on the market about now. Keep the price up here, yeah, of course. <laughs> out already. How come you didn't say so? The orders were only carried out about an hour ago. And he got out alone? No. When a con's going to break out of jail, someone always joins in. Altogether, four got away. A whiskey.
Bertie. I got Valley outside. What's he want? He didn't say. <laughs> sort of in. He's as mad as he always is. Avoid him. That's my advice to you. It's impossible, you know it. Now that I think of it, how goes the thing at the bank? <laughs> All set up. Tomorrow? On the dollar nine. <laughs> Bravo. You know, Valley's still outside. Make him to wait a bit longer. As you wish. passport with a different name and a different address. How come? You got a quiet life here, Bertie. You're in line to get thrown out of the country, but you got good uh, lawyers covering you. Important men to protect you. Well, a few, yeah. Doesn't anyone look after you? Time to make a run for it? We've blown the lid off with the bombings. No. Probably there are at least 40 people killed every day on the roads in car accidents in Italy. One more now and again for other reasons makes no odds. I begin to want to move when my fingers start to... <laughs> I know when a quake's heading in this direction before the ground heaves. Ah. Uh, a quake, I suppose. It's grippy. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call him a quake, but it's uh, what he'll be doing pretty soon. A little memento. Mm -hmm. A little memento. <laughs> you always do your best work when your back is up against the wall. Who says it's up against the wall? Hmm. But you do need some money. You're done right. Well, there's no need to worry about that. There's always plenty to get your hands on as long as the banks are full. Don't anyone get panicky. I really work for the phone company, and it's nothing to All be right. proud of. You'll see it down there in the corner. Thanks. Any day now, they'll have a password in case they're faking. <laughs> <laughs> Stop where you are! <laughs> Nobody's faking that. Griffey speaking, a bank's been held up in town. We're giving chase to the bandits who are making a getaway in a pale blue sedan. Alert my squad.
afraid I'm not going to be running. I've got a broken knee. Luck's running out. You got to keep your cool or the doc won't be able to do no good. I'm not going in, no doctor. I'm not risking stopping just because you were stupid enough to fill yourself full of lead. them from escaping. Blocks are needed to channel them in the right direction. Alert stun squad immediately. Box one, come in. That wasp is still on our tail and get busy and eliminate it! Go a bit slower, and I'll treat him to a taste of lead. on the circular road if they're heading for any highway. So get under the outer ring and cut them off. Get in as close as you can. I'm about to get some practice. Go on. You get shooting, can't you? Hold on tight. I'll try to get lost in traffic. Go on. Move in. Don't stop now! Keep shooting with you!
where you are and get your hands up. Come on out. You want to be oven fried? Get your hands up. Your boss will be joining you soon. I have no boss. I don't know what you mean. I mean Bertie. He'll give in too. <laughs> Keep still, reptiles. You're so impatient. I know that's your nature. You wouldn't be what you are if it wasn't. It's just because justice means everything to me and I need to defend it with all I've got. There are no half measures. That's what I live for, I guess. If you're a good cop, there's no time for anything else. Think so? That you're good? Too good for me. Come on. Anna, I... No, don't say anything. I hoped I could fit myself somewhere into your life. But I was kidding myself, I know. Let me take you home. You all right? Leave me alone. Let me go. I'm frightened, I know. It's all over now. And I love you. How about that? Each one is dead sinner. Bet you never do it again. That was a fluke. Fluke, eh? I'll show you how. What? Yeah, and they're in target. What is it? What's wrong? Here you are wasting good ammunition on those cards as if you have nothing else to do. I've just been used as the target myself. Have you any idea who it was? Mm -mm. Mine's a blank. It was Volley. Training's over. Time to change. You two just graduated. No school anymore. You have to go start combing Bologna to find Volley. Now get going. Go on. I've seen someone around who could be useful to us. The man they call Tunisino. Oh, Platania's brother. Where? One of his previous hunts. On the edge of the park, where the girls are. Does that give you any ideas? Maybe. fresh face around here. Hmm. You know how to stack the goods on display. Neighborhood suits you, does it? What the hell difference does it make? This difference. <coughs> Hands down. 
you want to peddle yourself, go find another store window. This is my territory. I'll keep this as a little commission. <coughs> 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 So you're protecting her, huh? Well, you better go find your own place. Or you'll be wearing a smile where your mouth ain't. <coughs> 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 Drop the bone, good boy. You're back soon, Tunisino. You got nothing on me. Down, boy, get in your kennel. Cover your legs or you'll catch an awful cold. I don't get it. What's the point of all this just for me? You must have mistaken me for somebody else, Inspector. You know what I do for a living. I'm not Al Capone. I see you've stepped into shit up to your neck. What do you mean? What did I do? It says here you attempted to kill a policeman on duty. There are witnesses. It's a very serious charge. You could go up for 12 years at least. Oh, dear. Tell me, Inspector. You must have a reason for what you're doing to me. We're doing? You broke the law. <laughs> Some law if you can change it to suit your needs. And come to think of it, Inspector. That's all you cops ever do. You couldn't break it if it was so elastic. And you broke it all right. Your poor brother sacrificed his life for his friend, Bali. You must know Bali. Where's he hiding? Ah, you've come out into the open at last. I'm sorry, I can't help you. I don't know. <laughs> what a pity. Time you found another profession. You're going to need to. When you get out of jail, you'll be too old to handle girls in the street. There's no pension. Okay, I'll tell you. Ah, and no torture. Sergeant, put a sheet of paper in the typewriter. Our friend has quite a lot to tell us. It's not a confession, just a statement. Here's the list you asked for, sir. Thank you. Congratulations, Inspector. I don't want to offend anyone, but your policewomen could make a fortune working for me. There's a lot gets hidden beneath a uniform. You mean you never noticed? It's impossible to. Although I'm something of an expert in certain uh, women, and even their offspring. <laughs> Keep a look out here. Okay. Come on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Johnny. Johnny. Oh, God. Which way did he go? Uh, down there. Oh. I'll make him pay for what he's done. You better do something about it quick. Another one of our young men dead, and, and Valley's still free as a bird. And the Tunicino's information was correct. And Valley got through our net. How did you let him get away? You gotta get him. It's a question of public opinion. As far as we knew, Volley was only an extortionist, a petty criminal. All of a sudden, something goes click, and he's Mr. Hyde, a ferocious killer, a cold, cunning exhibitionist. He's undergone a change in his personality. It's only a question of days. He'll come out in the open at the end. You feel that his complex is an advantage to us? Yes, I do. All we can do now is to wait and see if he shows again and hope that you and your men can handle it. The stunt squad is properly trained. Everything's ready. In a question of minutes, we can go. Good. Now, you can forget rules. Do whatever you want, I trust you. But get rid of Valley in 48 hours. I hope to. Betting is open.
so sorry. I know he was a friend of yours, but there was no other way of getting you to come out here to see us. <laughs> we went to a lot of trouble catching him, making him talk, and bringing him here. I have a few things I want to ask. Or were you thinking of leaving us without a word? That's not like me. I'm not the kind to ditch a friend, whatever anybody says. Oh, really? Someone made you talk? Griefy. He even made the guards torture me. There's no need to worry. You'll be repaid. Wait. You can have all the money in here. Plenty to retire with. You never have to do another job. Just let me go. <laughs> so you would like to go? Hmm. Yes. You thought it out well. Getting into the airport under the wire. Hmm. No checks or controls. You only made one mistake, you know. You did it all without consulting me. <laughs> Do you think I'm cruel? I'm really sentimental. You know what? I think I'll let you go just to show you I'm a nice, kind guy. Bon voyage. Go on, get out. Quickly. I told you, Griffey made me talk. Move it. You may begin. Hmm. <coughs> oh. All right. You asked for it. suitcase. God damn it, you hear? You've got to get Bali. If he's left at liberty, there's no telling who we'll murder next. You've got to get all his associates, everybody. I must have him in 48 hours. And who do you think's going to do it? I don't care who does it, as long as it's done. That's final. Just remember one thing. There'll be hell to pay if he's not found. Now get out. Thank you. 
up and don't fool around. I know you were with Bali and you've given him time to get away. Now you're going to tell me where he's gone. Operation of Zone 6. New information on whereabouts of Alpha. Over and out. You really should thank me, you know. 200 a month is peanuts to pay. Think of the protection we'll be giving you. No more worries. It's a bargain. That's more than I can manage. I've got to pay taxes and rent. I'd be finished. If you don't. Is that your friend? He's the one. I don't care how you get the money. You give me 200 in cash, or else Are you... Are you trying to extort money? No, I was just asking him to pay back a loan I had made. I need the money for a tailor's bill. You're not going to need any new clothes. Not where you're going. They have uniforms. Don't you and mind there's your a own striped business. one. Just your side. No, I didn't do nothing. You. The court will decide that. That's lucky. the accomplices of the crazy cop killer Valley are being rounded up all over the city. However, the balance is being kept as five convicts have escaped from prison. Hey, Joe, goes. Keep it cool, huh? Police. Hmm. Come on, let's go. And don't give any trouble. Hey, what have I done? No, I'll tell you later. Take a look. There are a couple of friends waiting for you. Giovanni Corsi is the latest to be arrested. It is believed he is one of the men responsible for the telephone blast that killed four people and was possibly involved in the brutal slaying of the Tunisino. He may also know the whereabouts of the bandit Bali. Barman, a coffee. Bertie? It's me. Yeah, I know. Help me to get away. Better be listening. Uh, I need a passport. No, I can't. You have to come to me. Yeah, yeah, I know. You had to close the club. So what? I need bread. Yeah, that's all I could get hold of for you. It wasn't easy. It's the last time I'll ask this of you, I promise. Got the passport? Yeah, I brought it. If you don't use it and disappear, it won't be the cops who gun you down but us. Yeah. You used me all of you. Now I'm no good to you anymore. You give me the push. Hey. Have a good trip to hell. No, I didn't work. Oh, no, there he is. Hey, Inspector. Uh, listen, I don't know what you're... He's crazy, totally unpredictable. Tell me, Inspector. Is it true that all these recent arrests have a connection with Valley? And is it true that Valley is deliberately challenging the police, and you in particular? No, if he's challenged anyone, it's the society we live in. Who do you think will win? It's not a football you? game. He certainly depends on questions. I, I wish I'd have thought so. Now listen here, I really got something special for you today. Best quality you'll find on the market. You got any grass? What's the matter with you? Grass, that's for kids. This is snow. Sniff yourself into a new world. Everyone in the States does it, but this stuff is much better. You can believe me. Look how pure and white it is. It's the best there is. Uh, let's have a sniff. Sure, have one. Ask him. He's an expert. I started him off a year ago. I'll give you a special price for students. Hey, where are you going? What? Oh, my. <laughs> Shoot! Go ahead, bud! Ah! 
I'm in the police! Stop! Answer me! From Pierre. Who is Pierre? Who is Pierre? At the discotheque. Which discotheque? How can I find it? I'll take you. Only on your feet. Uh, what brings you here, mister? Something that isn't going to please you too much. I'm sorry, I don't... I'm sure you're Pierre. I have that distinction. Who are you, may I ask? My name's Trouble, if you lay a hand on me. Watch it. I'm liable to call the authorities. You'd be a silly. You see, I am the authorities. Please. Yeah, I'm a goody. I'm here chasing baddies like you. If there's one thing I hate, it's people who do what you do, and you know what I mean. I don't know what you're trying to say. Fortunately, you're going out of the drug-pushing business along with your friends. Look out. Here's a client. Wait till she's gone. I'll tell you everything. Okay, remember, you're covered. Good morning, dear. Help me. But I don't know what you want. <gasps> All right, here. Sorry, you gotta follow a girl. What's happened? Why did you take so long? Are you crazy? Don't come out in the open. I think it's better to come out by day and get lost in the crowds. Are we going to move? Yeah, right away. Quick. Well, I'm going to need a few minutes to pack a bag for us. No. you got to try to understand, Rita. You're not coming with me all the way. You can come as far as I go in the car. When I leave you, I'm going to disappear. Get it. Go on. No, this area's already been thoroughly searched. The only man to get away was D'Andrea, but he doesn't seem to be connected with Vali. Tonight we have to pick up this bunch. Gentile is the only one not on the list. What is it? All right. Here you are.
Fox 2 here calling 1. Fox 2 calling 1. Inspector, I'm right on the scene. His girlfriend led me to him, and they're now in a red mini which has stopped in Piazza Rosa. As far as I could make out, he's planning to leave town. Kissed the girl and left her in the car. Now he's running across the street. He's got on a 29 bus for the center. Inspector, I'm going to try and get on it so I can't go on talking. See you later. Over and out. No, don't risk it. You, you can't capture her by yourself. Damn, he's hung up. Come on. I said, just keep going for now. If I'm forced to, if I'm forced to, I'll shoot everybody. Everybody came to have a bus ride. Keep still, you're dead! Vermin! Vermin? You're all vermin! Go move! He's fainted! We can't just let her lie there. Get back! Leave her! Anyone who moves gets a bullet in his face, that clear? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Take his face out! Ah! Ah! 